today, we're going to be delving a little bit further into the basic data types that C offers by looking at the car data type. Then we're going to go further into detail into uh, type conversions. And lastly, we're just going to look a little bit more into detail into arrays. So now that we know what we're going to be talking about, let's get started. Let's hop right into the character data type. So as we know, a car is just an 8-bit sign integer. And in C, we can interpret a car as both a number or a character. And we can interpret a number as a character by something known as the ASCII encoding. So in order to see what characters are mapped to which numbers, we can go to our terminal and type man ASCII. And as you can see, we got a bunch of tables. So scroll down to the decimal set. And we can see that we have a bunch of numbers followed by either a word like null or a single character. Don't worry about the words like null or SOH. So just start focusing on the single characters, the ones starting from 33 and ending at 126. So as we can see, there is a one-to-one -one mapping between a number between 0 and 127 and a character. So if we look at number 65, we should see that this corresponds to the capital letter A. So we can interpret the car, okay, we can interpret a car as an 8-bit sign integer by using the percent %HHD conversion specifier, or we can interpret the car value as a character by using the percent %C conversion specifier. And keep in mind that characters are case sensitive. So capital A is not the same as lowercase a. And if we look at, a, at the ASCII table, we'll see why. We can see that A, we can see that the capital letters and lowercase letters correspond to different numbers. So for example, 65 corresponds to capital A and 97 corresponds to lowercase a. Now, let's look at some code examples. As you can see, I have my Visual Studio Code editor open and I have the simple program where we're making a car variable and assigning the character value A. So how we assign characters, okay. so how we assign character values to a car variable, uh, there's actually two methods. The first one is by going to the ASCII table, finding the number that corresponds to that character and assigning the car variable that number. Or as you can see, we can just write down the character surrounded by single quotes. And what this will do is it'll actually translate the character inside of single quotes into the ASCII code or the code that corresponds to that character. So if I hover over A, you'll see that indeed it tells me 65. So now I'm just trying to print out the character interpreted as a number and then as a character. So in line seven, I'm using the percent %HHD conversion specifier. And in line eight, I'm using the percent %C conversion specifier. So as you can see, we first print out 65, and this is because we're interpreting the car as that 8-bit sign integer. And below that, we're printing A, because we're using the percent %C conversion specifier, which interprets the car as a character. Now, let's dive more into C. So the very first thing I want to introduce you guys is about declaration. So declaration means I want to reserve some spot in a memory grid. So in the code, I reserved six blocks for our variable called cats. So the reason why it took six is because short data type contains two bytes. And we initially said we want three. So three times two equals six bytes. So we're taking six blocks. So when we declare, we are telling the computer we just want to reserve those spots and we don't want to assign any, anything yet. So when we print out the second index of our array variable cats, it can print out some weird numbers. In our case, it printed out 5072. Initialization is about assigning numbers into our array. So this time, I specifically assigned 974 into these blocks. 
And once I print out the second index, it printed out seven. So the second index is the set is the middle two boxes of our array. So it included a row of zeros, and the last three are ones. What if we only initialize a couple of them? So in our case, I have cats equal to three and four. What this will do is the first index will be three, the second index will be four. And after that, because we didn't initialize anything, it will, it will always be zero. So if we print out the second index, it will print out four. So this is also an initialization. Even if we didn't put any numbers in there, okay, what this will do is the entire array will be zeros. So I also printed out the second index and it printed out zero.